Hello guys, welcome back to another game review. Today we're going to be talking about Death Garden, and is it worth playing? Is it a good beta? Is the game good? Well, I gotta tell you. After playing it for a bit, I realized that the Hunter is extremely overpowered, and the Runners are not really overpowered at all. Obviously. It's pretty much a Hunter versus Runner scenario, only the Hunter's bound to win like 90% of the time, because of his abilities. He's pretty much got a shotgun and I'm pretty much going to show you how easy it is to win as a hunter, okay? Now I've only played as the hunter once and as that once, I've won once because he's so simple to play. One thing I have to say about the game already is the size of the hunter's clip. The size of the hunter's clip is insanely high. You can literally just hold the, you can literally just spam the button, uh, just clicking it like a god and you'll do a ton of damage even if you aim it anywhere near them. Actually, it's not long range at all. <laughs> okay, so always pick the sniper and the shotgun. Never pick anything else. Now, I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna choose anything, right? I'm not gonna choose anything. I'm just gonna play normally. This is my second game as the hunter. And I am being honest. Oh my god, what this happened? Am I lagging? What was that? What was that? Yeah, so all of the maps are randomly generated, I hope so anyway, because, well, they all look really nice. Okay, now I have to go in the arena and stop them from doing the flag. Let's go. Okay, there's two hunt runners down. Another one over here somewhere. There's another runner down. Honestly, the, the the hunter in my opinion is too overpowered. Oh my god, I can't see. I don't know what just happened. But I do know they're only here. Bye bye. I hit him, wow. I hit him again, what the hell? Okay, so headshots instant kill them, which is oh my god, that's just crazy. Okay, basically they're all just dead at the moment. Send it to blood post, baby. I'm not gonna camp the blood post because people hate that. I hate camping it as well. Okay, I can deny health for other people, which Run is cool. <laughs> Execution available. Execution available, okay. Run down. Run and now descend to blood post. There you go. Oh. All right, where is he? Where does he? Where does his body go? Runner has activated the golden crate. Oh, okay, he's right here. Runner sent 
Plus Gonna deny them more health. Okay, I need more people to be down so I can do that. Hi guys, oh hi, oh hi guys. You son of a go. Oh no, they're gonna get C. Oh that's bad. Can I get to see before they do? Uh... Execution available. There you go. I got. Wait, did I get that? Did I get that before he got C? No, he got C. Okay. Okay, sending runner to blood post, which is great. And there you go. That's literally it. I win, I think. Yep, there you go. That's how easy it is to win this guy. It's ridiculous. I mean, they did well because they got like one or two objectives. But last time I did the hunter, they didn't get a single one and I got eight kills. That's how easy it is to be the hunter. Now I'm going to show you how hard it is to win as a survivor. And I've only won as a survivor once and I've played eight games with him. It's ridiculous. Capture two objectives out of three to open the exits. In my personal opinion, I feel as if there should be four. You can teabag like crazy in this game. The runners get out like a lot faster than the hunter. The hunter gets out like 30 seconds, like later. Honestly, the shotgun in this is perfect. Okay, I can get... Reveals the hunter for 20 seconds. I'll do that. Here you go, he's revealed. Ow, what? Execution available. Okay, B is halfway. I can get B, I hope. It's really hard to win as a runner. Like, I'm being serious. It's ridiculously hard to win as a runner. Okay, I'm just gonna do that and then run away. Runner revived. Arena event active. Execution available. You I almost here. got zone B. He didn't shoot me once, which is crazy. The runner has been executed. I'm too good. As a review, the abilities are really easy to use once you understand them. There's like pillars on the map that you can find upgrades on. has activated the golden crate runners eliminated because the rest of them died see how hard it is to win is this see how hard it is even though i got one Final full objective which is really hard to do in the first place 
he just kept on killing people. And the thing is, he doesn't even need to execute everyone either. He can literally just, he can literally just, you know, destroy everything. The game's just dependent. I don't know if the game is fine, but it's like, you know, the rest of my team have to not be killed and have to play well for us to win. But it's really annoying and frustrating when all of the online players need to play well unless you're you're gonna lose, right? It's it's annoying. Like it's not fun to play a game that you if you like. It's not fun to play an online game that you know you might not be able to win because of your teammates, and it, it's different teammates every time. So in the end, you never know who you're gonna be playing with. So you might be playing with like the best players in the world. Like if just say you're the best player in the world and the rest of your team all dies and even you're trying to help them and stuff like that, you're still going to lose because of it. It's uh it's so annoying. It's ridiculous. It it's honestly ridiculous. I'm going to show you since the support class. Oops, bit of lag. Anyway, Here's the perk menu, there's increased stamina recovery, there's improved rescue speed, revive with full health, less damage when invading, chances to get additional weapon upgrades from chests, increase wall climbing time by 500%. Now the ones I have at the moment are like support ones, I'm gonna be playing support, it's pretty much if I shoot other teammates with the arrows, then I'll get like health and stuff, or they'll get health. Okay, shooting objects gives you like points, and the points you can use, no, gives you like charge, and the charge you can use for like your abilities. And for getting upgrade like parts and stuff like that from these chests right here, the blue ones, you can go to, of course, the enemy got it though, so we're just gonna wait. They regenerate all the time, so it's not that bad. Um, so now I can get this. And now I can go buy an upgrade. So if I go over here and I click on this, there's different upgrades for my character. So it says heals runner for 35 HP, um, shields runner for 40 damage, increases MPI gain by 20%. You never want to do this one. You might want to do the shield and the health. But now you have a bunch of different abilities here. And as you can see on the number six ability, if I press six on my keyboard, I can get a, I can get, I can give people shields, uh, but I want to upgrade that again, because if I shoot in a radius where they're near, then they'll get shields. Okay, I'm going to get an upgrade part, I'm going to go upgrade something, then I'm going to get some other stuff. Okay, it's right there, which is bad for me. Okay, I want to do the shield, because the shield is always important. If I use the shield and shoot at the ground on myself... Okay, this is not fair. Really? Okay, alright, so basically what happened there was, if you fall off the map, you instantly go into the blood post, even though, like, you shouldn't even be allowed, which kind of sucks. And he bombed me when I was close to the edge, and then I got knocked off. So that's just. Execution uh, available. Runner has been executed. Runners have one life remaining. And as you can probably see, it's really hard. So now they only have one more life remaining. And let's just say, if any of them die at this point, to either you know falling off a cliff because of explosives and being ragdoll physics, or just you know plain old mockery, then. They all lose. They all lose. They all lose. It's ridiculous. Like if one person dies or anything, they're all like it's game over. And there you go. She fell off the edge, and now she's in this automatically. I do not think that should be a thing. I think she should spawn. Spawn to the thing. Look at that. We're both annoyed because we hit a landmine. And the problem is with the hunter, he can literally just, you know, camp out at the... Execution available. At the thing and just wait. 
And that's pretty much the game, which I don't... I don't know. It's 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 too hunter-sided. There's so many ways you can, you know, just mess up, like, just annoy people as the hunter. There's so many ways. There is so many ways. And it's ridiculous. I've only won once, and I can't even show you what happens when you win, because I'll be recording for a long time. But overall, that's the game. I kind I enjoy it! Uh... But there has been a few like game crashes and stuff like that around the place. Um, usually, this game crashes happen whenever you're inside a, a lobby with a friend for some reason. I don't know why. You know, bugs are weird. I understand game developers. Um, yeah, but overall, fun game. You've you've made an interesting game. Congratulations uh, on doing that. This will. Uh, like a, f a certain number of people, you know, people like Dead by Daylight, people like um, who like Friday the Thirteenth, those games. You've built your audience in a good scale, my friends, because I don't know, you're just, you know, it's a good audience to follow. You know, you'll get feedback on them. Listen to your, you know, fans. Don't be EA and just, you know, don't listen to your fans and just make uh, content that like will make money. Make make good content that will sell because it's good not because like you know people just want to buy the best stuff in the game just to be good anyway this has been uh this has been death garden i'm just gonna this has been the review of death garden um check this game out for yourself oh no 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 you just can't until okay you just can't check out this game uh but if you want another video explaining other things about the game and stuff like that i've shown you the hunter Shown to how brutal and powerful he is. He can spawn things. He can just I don't know. Just just he he can just do everything, and the runners just can't. So there you go. Ugh. Yeah. So basically, that's the game. If you enjoyed the video, hit me up with a like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time for another review. See you all next time. Bye bye. I rolled away from victory. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,